And it's back to school in the morning for students in Huber Heights. But a series of failed levees means more of them may have a harder time getting there. Robert Lowry is working for you, uncovering the latest item to be cut. The return of these yellow buses means class is back in session. But a few would rather trade in the wheels for a relaxing walk to school. I like walking to school when it's a good day because... I just like walking there. It's just part of the ritual for Riley Lance and her mother. The two walk hand in hand down the street for another day of learning. I go with her. I go with her or my husband goes with her. Do you have any friends I guess you walk to school with too? Um, just no, you? just me. Starting Wednesday, she'll have a few more friends walking beside her. Elementary schools in Huber Heights are expanding their walk zone. Anyone who lives within a mile and a half of one of these schools will soon be joining Riley and her mother. If they have not received a card from transportation with a bus assignment, that they now potentially are in that increased walk zone. The school district decided to expand the zone after the levy failed earlier this month. With more kids walking to school, 2 News asked the district if they're making any new preparations. An extra amount of care will go to new walkers, and anyone driving will have to get adjusted to the new drop-off system. We will have our staff out there, our principals out there, kind of helping to direct that to make sure if a parent hasn't driven before that they know what those drop-off patterns are for all of our buildings. For Riley and her mother, they're already set for their first morning walk to school ready to welcome anyone new who joins them.